grits can actually be a healthy option for diabetics if you prepare them the right way. Did you know that a single serving of grits can pack a whopping 30 grams of carbohydrates? That's like a sugar bomb for your blood sugar levels. Today we're going to discuss whether grits are bad for people with diabetes or not. Please watch the video until the end, because I will also reveal a powerful method for reversing diabetes effortlessly. This, me this method has been used by Mandarin people for many years to prevent this so-called silent killer. So, let's begin. If you've ever been to the South, you know that grits are a breakfast staple. But for those living with diabetes, the question is, are grits a good thing? Or are they a bad thing? Let's dig in and find out if these creamy, delicious morsels should stay on your plate or be tossed out. So, here's the deal. Diabetics have to be super cautious about their carbohydrate intake. Foods high in carbs can lead to spikes in blood sugar, which is definitely something to avoid. And when it comes to grits, they're basically made from ground corn, which means they can have a high carb content. This raises a big red flag for anyone watching their blood sugar levels. The challenge is figuring out how to enjoy this southern classic without sending your glucose levels on a roller coaster ride. It's a tough balancing act. Let's break down the nutritional profile of grits. A standard serving can contain around 30 grams of carbs, like we mentioned earlier, but they also provide some protein and fiber. Now, here's where it gets interesting. The glycemic index of grits is relatively high. This means they can cause a rapid rise in blood sugar. But wait, not all grits are created equal. For example, stone ground grits might have a lower glycemic index compared to instant grits. Plus, if you pair them with a protein source or healthy fats, it can help mitigate that blood sugar spike. So it's not just about the grits themselves, it's about how you prepare and enjoy them. Now here's where things take a twist. Recent studies and expert opinions suggest that grits can actually fit into a diabetic diet if you're smart about it. Nutritionists argue that enjoying grits in moderation, especially when balanced with other foods, can be perfectly fine. For instance, adding some veggies or a bit of cheese can slow down the absorption of carbs and help keep your blood sugar stable. Some folks even recommend using cauliflower grits as a lower-carb alternative. It's all about being mindful and making those grits work for you instead of against you. So there you have it. While grits may initially seem like a diabetic's worst nightmare, they can actually be enjoyed in moderation with careful planning. It's all about understanding their impact on your blood sugar and finding ways to balance your plate. Remember, knowledge is power. Now, as promised, I'd like to share something very exciting with you. Apart from the conventional methods that are commonly used to prevent diabetes, there's a completely natural and effortless way to prevent diabetes, which has cured hundreds of thousands of people. The secret method is unknown to most people because doctors do not want to disclose it to their patients. It might be because they want their diabetic patients to keep coming back, or perhaps a big industry in diabetes management revolves around selling medications to the diabetic population. It doesn't matter if you are newly diagnosed with diabetes or if you've been managing the disease for years, this natural method will certainly work for you. Do you want to know more about this secret method? Check out the video description and click the link provided to discover this astounding secret.